Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Lewis 3773 here. It's time once again for another episode of Carl Childers, My Player, My Career. Episode number 47 right now. Monthly pay per view, May 2020. Gotta to talk to Todd Mullen, as usual, over there in the production area. Yes, Daniel Bryan in here. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. And let's go over to Todd. What do we got going on here? You ready to do this? Tonight's a good chance to gain some momentum. Good chance to gain some momentum, okay? Let's see what we got going on here in the monthly pay-per-view. Extreme Rules, I believe it was. Stay right here, because up next we have a championship match. We have a team led by one of the best talents on the roster today against Team Mark Henry. Two of the best superstars in the yeah, WWE match, battling for that crown. That's a strange. This thing off. Ooh. Given who the champs in the ring with tonight, I wouldn't be at all that surprised was, if we win this no history sense. here. I mean, no sense he at all. A big time drop kick. So they had the graphic up there of Mark Henry. But yet, and now he goes for it a second time against John Cena and Tommaso Ciampa. Or Ciampa. What a makes no DDT. sense at all. Well, what's your take right now on John Cena? In your expert opinion, what can the WWE Universe expect to see from him? A win here would be monumental. Adding gold to your trophy case is a goal of every superstar. Hey, I think when the dust settles in this one, we very well could have a new champion. What began as ruthless aggression evolved quickly for John Cena. Whether the Newberry, Massachusetts native was the doctor of thugonomics, leader of the C Nation, or the face of the WWE, it comes down to hustle, loyalty, and respect. Come on, Luke Harper. There's no retreat and no surrender when it comes to John Cena competing inside that 20 by 20 foot ring. Cena's motto of never give up is a way of life for the WWE icon. The power, the fire, the drive to be the absolute best in this business encapsulates John Cena. All Cena cares about is taking care of business in that ring. Never tell him the odds. Oh crap, come on, sir. more emotion from the WWE Universe than John Cena. For more than 15 years, audiences shoot to their feet to see WWE's standard bearer. Oh, crap. Champ not looking good right now. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get it. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. And of course, John Cena, always freaking super Cena. Come on, Luke Harper. 
Having called many matches throughout John Cena's career, I can say he's the most polarizing figure in WWE history. Whether you love the leader of the C Nation or not, everyone respects this man. We all know the WWE Universe is not shy about voicing their opinions. When it comes to John Cena, everyone has their opinion. But everyone also knows that when the lights are shining at their brightest, Cena's at his best. Luke Harper. He knows he's in trouble. He'd be wise to stay right there. The challenger's taking on some offense. He's going to have to find a way to fend off the champ here. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Back now inside the ring. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big time damage, Michael. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. And the ref gets absolutely floored. Yeah, but let's be honest, a light breeze would knock him over. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Okay, that was a mistake. We're gonna end up losing this match. Come yep, on, there's Luke. the reversal by Luke Harper. Connects with an E drop. Luke's almost got a signature. Not sure where he got control. this much energy, but he's definitely feeling it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Don't quit, Luke. What's the next move for Luke Harper to turn things around quickly to remain in this thing? The champ clearly getting the best of him here. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this match right now, which is a little surprising to me. And he goes down hard. Yeah, and I think he might have slipped a little, too. Needs to make it to the corner here. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different things. Oh, Luke Doesn't Harper. show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit, now he's ready to go again. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. No, Luke. This is not how so, you want to see a matchup like we this. Win by count out. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that.
Not the best performance, but not your worst either. Just keep on improving out there. Ah, oh, damn. So there you have it. Let's talk to Primo real quick. What's Primo got to say? As much as I love the value or money and or as much as I love and value money, you know who loved and valued money more than me? The million dollar man himself, Ted DiBiase. The guy was all about money, 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 money. He's even has a great entrance theme about it too. Alright, the um Talk to Natalia. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't wait to go get some Total Divas after. P or I can't wait to watch some Total Divas after my training. Maybe order some catering, drink a beer. You want to join me? Great. It's a date. Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, damn. Not sure if Tyson kid would like that, but okay. There's my tag team partner, Ty Dillinger. Why wasn't you in the match with me, Ty? You've been pretty lucky on the mic lately, but be careful when talking about the WWE Universe. That means a lot to me, and I hate when other superstars badmouth them. If they do, they may have me to deal with. Modern day Maharaja. Gender Mahal, what do you got to say, Gender? Do yourself a favor and get to know the superstars in the back better. They know more than about you know more about them. The more you exploit their weaknesses if you have to fight them, there's no friends here, just future points. Alright, the gender. So we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell icon for any and all notifications on the channel. And follow me on Twitter, Lewis3773 underscore. Lewis3773. I am out. <laughs>